we actually had a bit of positive news develop this week. Several Democrats, including uh, uh, Kirsten Gillibrand and Senator Cory Booker, have announced that they are no longer going to be accepting corporate political action campaign money to fund their political campaigns. No more corporate super PACs, no more corporate PACs of any kind. We're going to rely, hopefully, on only donations from our constituents. Now I say hopefully because just getting rid of PAC money does not necessarily mean that you're getting rid of all corporate money. Not to mention the fact that both of these people, Booker and Gillibrand have also already basically been sitting on a few million dollars worth of corporate campaign cash that they didn't spend in their last election. So yes, there is still some corporate money there, but you know what? At this point, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I am going to hope that they're doing this, not because they have 2020 presidential aspirations, but because they understand the corrupting influence that money has in politics and that the majority of people in this country, especially progressives wanted this to happen because that's the real story here. It's not just that they finally did it. It's that progressives push them and push them and push them to the point where they realized that they had to. If they want to have any kind of political future in this country, you have to get rid of the corporate money. I guarantee you in coming weeks, we are going to see more and more Democrats follow suit here. They're going to come on board, say, we're not going to take corporate cash, uh, at least corporate PAC money, but it has to go further. This is a great first step, but if you accept any kind of corporate cash, because you can still have corporate fundraisers, they could still donate $2,700 to your campaign person by person by person. So yes, it's a good first step, but it is only a first step. There are a lot more, uh, uh, there's a lot more yardage, I guess, to go on this issue. But so far, again, going to give them the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to say kudos to Cory Booker, Kirsten Gillibrand for taking that big step of saying, we're not going to take corporate PAC money any more. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.